Hi, my name is Tahir from Smart Modeling Solutions, Quantrix partner in Europe, Russia, and Turkey. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your first Quantrix model. First, you click on New Model here. In this left part, you see your model browser and here your matrix. Each matrix has default dimensions here and here and we are going to create today our sales forecast that's why we are renaming our matrix to sales first default dimension we will rename by double clicking to products and the second one to years let's now at our products apple and then so that to add a second and third item i simply selecting the first item and pressing enter and pressing enter again All right, our products are ready. I'm going to add my years. The same way, pressing enter and Quantrix populate the years for me. All right, now I'm going to add some actual data to my product sales. So that to uh, create a forecast, I need to add assumptions. We need to add a new matrix. So you can do this by uh, going to insert matrix or simply pressing this icon. Let's rename it to assumptions. Contracts, you can arrange your windows on the on the screen and create the layout that most convenient for you now i have here model browser one my first matrix and my assumptions matrix you can use your existing product dimension in your growth assumptions matrix so by simply by dragging and dropping your products dimension from sales matrix to the assumption matrix. So you see, uh, using existing dimensions, you can create your new matrix. So we don't need fault dimension. Here, I will rename it to growth rates. we need to add growth rate for each of our products so let's say first of all we can change the number format here to percent and add some growth rates we have our growth rates we have our actual data and now we can add a formula to calculate uh, sales values for our forecasted years so that to do that we use here formulas area writing formulas in quantum is pretty straightforward because it's used natural language so we say year this so you see here equal again year previous multiplied now you can uh, either click to the rate here or you can write it right in the formula editor as soon as you write name the assumptions it will auto complete it for you you see assumptions and then rate
So let's press enter. As you can see, our uh, forecast um, work for coming years are created. So we can change the number format. So our first formula is ready. So as you see here, we have two dimensions, products and years. But let's expand our model and actually move from 2D, in this case, to 5D. So let's create truly multidimensional model. Sell our product in other countries so that to add this, we need to add country dimensions. So adding dimensions is also pretty straightforward. You select one of the dimensions and again press enter. And let's call it countries. So we sell it in Germany and in USA. So that to add growth assumptions for countries, we need to drag and drop our country's dimension to assumption matrix. So as you see here, we have um, now countries is also in assumption matrix. We add growth assumptions for USA as well. And also add some actual data. You see, by adding uh, a new dimension uh, by new countries, as easy as that, simply without writing any formula, we have forecasts ready for both of the countries because one formula, which is written in natural language, will work across all countries, all products, and all years. And even if you add a new product here, let's say orange, you see that the same product appears here, both in sales matrix, also in assumption matrix, because all those dimensions, in this case, product dimensions, link it with each other. If you hover, you can see that. But this is the most important thing because it uh, helps to work structurally. The structure of your matrix, of your dimension, will be replicated across the whole model. So the same way you can delete it if you don't need it. Um, now, let's add Scenarios. Each forecast is associated with uncertainties. And let's say that we have some upside and downside case besides the base case that we have. So that means we need to add a new dimension and call it scenarios. This is our base case. And again, press enter to add a new item, upside and downside. So you can also rearrange your uh, categories. So let's say we can bring the products here, or you can put products in filter area to visualize the certain product. Uh, we have the same actual data. For We have now scenarios, base, upside, and downside. And now we can add growth rate for each of these scenarios. So again, we're dragging and dropping the scenario dimension. And for upside, we're adding for growth rates for upside and downside case. As soon as I add my growth rates for each scenario it's automatically calculated in my sales matrix again i don't write any formula simply adding data and it will calculate itself 
what do we have? We sell our products in different currencies. I would like to see the currency dimension as well. So again, we can add new dimension, call it currencies. And one would be euro and US dollar. Okay, so that to calculate balance in dollar, we need to have exchange rate. That's why we add a new matrix and call it exchange rate. So again, I can create the layout so that I can see everything in one screen. So that will be X rates. And I need here exchange rates for all my years. So that's why I bring my years dimensions here. I call it Euro to USD. And add some exchange rates. Now we have our exchange rates. Now we can calculate the value of our sales in US dollars. So let's enter our second formula. We say USD equal Euro multiplied by exchange rate. Language of the formula is pretty easily understandable and you can clear this eclipses also by adding skip so we have our sales matrix with five dimensions already scenarios countries products years and currency so let's add now some visualization to our data in contracts, you can add charts here by pressing this icon and selecting which chart you want to use for visualization. So I'm using bars chart. And as you see, uh, charts also, also multi-dimensional. So you can rearrange these dimensions so that to achieve the visualization, you're looking for for instance i would like to see my years here products here and currencies in the filter area and scenarios also in the filter area and probably i like to see the results for both countries simultaneously I can go and add uh, chart labels here. Let's see, I can. I like to see the valleys, and I can change the number format. And now I see my sales forecast for both countries, and for base case. So I can change it to upside case or downside case, or I can visualize in dollar or euro. You can also visualize that for certain product, for example, apple, carrots, or for certain year. So congratulations, we created our first Quantrix model. If you have any question, please feel free to contact us. Visit us on smartmodelingsolutions.com. We have a lot of information here. Feel free to contact us at info at smartmodelingsolutions.com and uh, if you like to have a free trial of the Quantrix, please request here a free trial. Thank you for your time. I wish you good luck with your future models. Happy modeling with Quantrix.